Hi everyone, hi friends and family, Tanya here. I'm doing a freezer clean out today. I went through, I'm not freezer, the refrigerator. Went through the fridge, saw all these odds and ends. Does anyone else's refrigerator look like this? You have, you know, a salad kit or some fresh greens are still good sitting in there. Don't go out and buy anything else. I'm not buying nothing else. It's cold too. I'm not running all out to the stores all the time. There's food in this house. So we got some, some cherry tomatoes. I already started on this English cucumber. This is money here. This is good stuff. I opened up some olives a few days ago. Still got a few of those left. Have like a half of onion and a little piece of onion here. I have uh, some picante sauce, and I had a block of mozzarella cheese, and I might have to use the, this little piece here. I think I'll just finish this up. I had a little bit of salami. No, this is pepperoni. And some wraps here. So, I guess, so basically, I'm just gonna make a pizza. And I like this picante sauce, picante sauce better than like some pizza sauces. So get some of this. So this is gonna be a pizza. I'll try to finish this up. Then I'll just make a side salad. I think I'll put some olives on that pizza as well. And I love onions on my pizza and I'll put some on the um, salad as well. So stay tuned, I'm gonna come back and I already started the prep. I'm gonna shred the cheese and we're gonna make our little meal here and it will be good, all right? Okay, everybody, I have everything ready to go, ready to assemble. Like I said, I'm using these carb counter, carb lean tortillas, they're soft tacos. Got those, I said they're keto friendly and I shredded that block of mozzarella cheese here. I definitely will not use all of that. And I have about eight slices of, let me see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. About 10 slices of pepperoni here. I have the picante sauce. And I'm giving my onions a nice little stir fry. I like to cook off my onions a bit. And I'm going to go on and cook this uh, pizza on the stove top here. I'm not going to fire up the, the oven for this. This is so flat. I'm going to take two tablespoons of picante sauce. Picant. Some people say sauce picant. Some say picante, picante sauce. So however you pronounce it, this is what it this is what it is. It's medium, it's not like too um, you know, it's not too mild, not too strong. And I kind of like Mexican flavors better than Italian flavors. So I have a, I have a lot of uh, Mexican blend stuff. Okay, just gonna let that cook. Sprinkle of cheese. We have this stuff right here in the house too. Put a little bit of mozzarella. I want to get all the crumbs out. We're getting everything. Leave those crumbs in there. That's food, baby.
one of my first jobs, I worked in a, a bistro. I worked at a Ponderosa, so I worked at a steakhouse, but we made a lot of pizza. Should have done my onions. It's been a while since I made a professional pizza. People in the mall be like, Tanya cooking today? Use up some of these olives. And have the heat down to medium. I have it like on three, three and a half. So we get to see everything there. I need more olives on here. Cover it up with the top. Let that cheese melt because it won't take long for this, for the tortilla. It's browning already. So we just need it to heat through. Okay, right there, that would have been a good $6. If you would have went out to eat, I'll grab some takeout. They said the average person is eating out four times a week. And if it's just you, and that's 10, that's $40. That could, that's gonna be $40 a week. And a hundred, you know how much money you can save? You can save $200 a month just by eating what you have at home. And then you already know I shop like really strict. You know, I, at this point in my life, I know what I like, what, I know what my hubby likes. So we just don't be playing around just buying a whole bunch of unnecessary stuff. Okay, so I'll come back when this is done. Okay, everyone, my meal is done. You know, this would have been a $10 meal if I would have eaten out somewhere. Now definitely, if you don't have a stove top griddle like we have, then put it in the oven and then you put four in there. It was just, since it's just me eating this right now, I just, you know, I didn't want to fire up the whole oven or put it in your pizza oven. Oh, I have some Italian seasoning I'm sprinkling on it and some crushed red pepper. Have a cutie. I'm cleaning out the pantry, cleaning out the fridge. Have a little cutie. This is a well balanced lunch. Water. Water. You paying a water bill. You paying for water. You drink it. Cut it in quarters. here. See that? Man, that's good. That's good. Don't fret. Like if you don't have pizza sauce or pasta sauce, if you have some picante sauce or salsa, that works even better. Hey guys. 
We're trying to be healthy, wealthy, and prosperous this year. And just making meals from your pantry, stuff you already have on hand, is a great start to saving a lot of money. And, you know, buying sodas. I mean, I, I, do, I what I do is I, I drink water with my meal. Eat my meal. And then if I decide I want a Diet Coke after all of that, which normally I don't, I'm pretty satisfied. You know, half my plate is with the non-starchy vegetables. Got a little carbs from the from the uh, tortilla. Everything else is good. I love fruit, so this is a small little portion of fruit I can have, and I eat it early in the day. So we're good. So cleaning out our pantries, our freezers, and our fridge, we're going to build up our bank accounts, and we're going to keep ourselves healthy this year. All right, I want to thank you guys so much for tuning in and supporting me through all of these years, and um, I'm going to be doing a lot more freezer and pantry clean out meals this month, all right? See you in my next video. If you like my vibe, hit subscribe, join the tribe. All right. Thank you. Thanks, everyone. Bye, Mom.